Welcome to the channel and welcome to 40k face-offs. In this one we see a single Terminator with an assault cannon take on 8 Tyranid Hormagons. This matchup is actually exactly correct points wise in terms of both sides are equal here. These are like 6 points each and there's 8 of them. 6 times 8 is, what is it, like 48 points or something like that. P pretty fair matchup. He has a assault cannon and a power fist so he can do a lot of damage shooting um, before they get to him and then do some crushing. These guys very fast, quite a few attacks. Basically going to try and get in there and, and eat stuff. If you've been on the channel before, you might recognize these. I painted 38 of these in 63 minutes, I think. It works out at like 99 seconds per model. Check that out elsewhere on the channel if you'd like to see that. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's see what we're going to do for this one. Among the rustle of leaves and grass in the wind, he heard a distant clicking. A clattering of bones and chitin. He'd heard it before. And he knew. That bunker was hiding something. <laughs> so a bit of fun there. Uh, basically, yeah, we've got a <laughs> Terminator assault cannon up here, and we've got um, a bunker full of the old, uh, what they called? Little Hormigaunts, yeah. So we're going to go straight to turn one for the Hormigaunts, I think, see what happens. Also, before we start, um, I'm going to assume that there's a Synapse creature around for these guys, otherwise they're all just going to run off, I think. Uh, maybe they're, they're part of a bigger hive fleet, and... Uh, that's keeping things together. So yeah, Homogons turn one, let's go. Homogons have a base move of eight inches, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. That's about an inch high, so they're gonna lose two inches coming out of there unless they go around, which they're probably not going to. Um, yeah, so eight plus three is 11 inches. So um, minusing two for going up and down there, we're gonna get them out to nine inches here. Uh, in fact, because that's an inch across, I, I, I moved them up in eight inches. So, yeah, that's where we are after turn one for the uh, Tyranids. Turn one, uh, he's not going to move at all. He's just going to stand there and pew pew as much as he can. Um, so he's got an assault cannon, which is heavy six. Uh, it used to be a lot more back in my day. Uh, and also used to have a bigger range. The range is 24 inches now, which actually takes it to about here, I think. Um, yeah, so he's in range. Going to take six shots at the Hormagons. Let's try and splat some bugs. Six shots here, hitting on threes. Uh, good hits. We have uh, strength uh, six against toughness three, so these are wounding on twos, or indeed splattering on twos. Wow, look at that three dead. Well, we're going to remove um, three from the back, I think. I think they're also the ones without the stones on the base, so they fall over all the time and annoy me. <laughs> So um, this isn't going to count, but I'm just going to do like fake morale check. So three of them died there. So um, four plus three is seven. So yeah, they would have failed the morale check had we not given them a free synapse creature somewhere, maybe underground. So that was turn uh, one for the Space Marine. Pretty effective. Get out a turn marker there. Brown. Oh, my kids left a diamond there. Happy days. Objective marker. Um, so yeah, let's move on to Hormagorn's turn two. Unsurprisingly, they're going to choose to advance. So we've got eight inches plus one. Uh oh. <laughs> also, for the purposes of when, when slash if we get over there, this is going to be three inches to get up again. Same as the uh, the sniper's uh, tower that he was on in the the other one. If you've seen that, uh, cool. So eight plus one's nine inches. That's the end of the uh, Tyranids turn two. Um, they're certainly getting up the board, but uh, that could have been a lot better. Um, so now we go on to Space Marine turn two and some pew pew. Six shots, uh, hitting on threes once more. Got a good, uh, half of them hit. Splattering on, um, what are they called? Twos. Ooh, only two of them splattered. So uh, let's get rid of those two and there's three left. Hmm, that's quite interesting. So let's go on to turn three, because that was a Space Marines turn two, for the uh, Tyranids. Tyranids are just going to move up eight. So four to twelve. Yeah, that gets them up to there. Now from the bottom of the hill, that was just a base move, didn't advance. So um, yeah, they're going to declare a charge on the Assault, um, the, sorry, the Terminator. 2d6, they pretty much need a three. Um, three and a four, I reckon, to get into combat there. That's 10. 
uh, getting into combat. Uh, Hormogons to attack. Something I need to remember uh, is that the Terminator gets plus one attacked when uh, charged with shock assault. Uh, so thanks to people for pointing that out in the comments before. If anyone sees anything else that I'm getting uh, wrong, uh, then please do point out in the comments as well. Each Hormogon gets two attacks and they hit on fours. I've got six dice here. It's a game of sixes, isn't it? Right, so here we go. Hitting on fours. Not very good hitting. Strength is three, toughness is four, so these are going to be wounding on fives. Uh, one of them gets through. Also, they have Scything Talons, which means they reroll hit rolls of one. I've just looked the footage back, and uh, yeah, I get to basically reroll this one, so four up to hit. And that's another hit. Uh, trying to wound with a five. Ah, fails. Okay, so basically the Space Marine needs, needs to make one saving throw. In classic, uh, insanely tough fashion, the Terminator gets a save throw of two up. So here we go. And it's passed. Two attacks plus one for being charged for the uh, Terminator hitting back. Um, so we're going to be hitting on threes. Good hits. Absolutely splattering on twos. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. This is one of the reasons I love the game. Like you think, you think like, you know, game over. These are dead Tormagaunts and then that happens. So that was the um, Tyranids turn three. Now move on to Space Marine turn three. So he's getting two attacks. Uh, let's see what happens this time. Uh, hit on threes. Uh, good hits. Uh, splattering on twos. There we go. That's more like it. That's, um, yeah, two Hormagons deed, as we say, in the northeast of England. Hormagon now on his, uh, he's basically, the, the weight of the whole Hive fleet is on, uh, on his shoulders. Um... Hitting on fours. They both hit. Wounding on fives. One of them gets through. Two up save for the Terminator. Let's see how he does. Passed. So that was the end of turn three. Uh, we'll move on to turn four. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now it's the Hormagon to hit uh, first. So we're going to be hitting on fours again. One hits, uh, wounding on a five. Nope, Space Marine hitting on twos. Uh, sorry, hitting on threes. Yep. And ending it on a two. Yep, that's it. That's another splattered bug. Assault a Terminator. Just absolutely uh, cleaning up there. So that was a pretty quick one. Uh, I think there's a couple of things that this shows. So obviously good shooting with an assault cannon against badly armoured uh, targets that's always gonna go a certain way and um, also going against terminators who have a two up save uh, with n no ap weapons um that's just you know you just it's so hard to crack their armor um so yeah i think that's the quickest one i've done to date <laughs> but uh yeah thanks for watching 40k face-offs on peacetime painting and be sure to check out any other ones on the channel because uh, i've done five now also, if you like any of this rusty terrain, uh, I do have a video on how to achieve these effects also elsewhere on my channel, so be sure to check them out.